absolutely love archery. I received a really great gift the other day, a gift so great I had to make a video about it. Stick around. I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of my subscribers, man, for real. I gotta tell you, back in the winter of last year, after my dad passed away from a lung disease that he had been battling for five years, I couldn't sit still in the house. It was it was hard to breathe at times. The grief was, was pretty heavy. I was really banking on him getting a, a transplant. He didn't get it. And, uh, you know, he took a turn for the worse and suddenly, you know, we had a very short time to say goodbye and it was a hard transition and couldn't sit still. So I got out here and started building these grounds. I had to have something to do. I got out here and started building these grounds and setting up targets and different things like that. And as many of you have already heard me say, uh, in the spring of last year, I launched this channel. I started rolling from that point on. I want to tell you something really interesting. This channel was largely inspired by grief and the need to start charting some new waters and doing some new things that I had never done before, living in a way that I had never lived before and taking a leap of faith on some things that I knew I needed to do. And uh, losing my dad was kind of something that pushed me into what needed to be done. And listen to this, exactly one year after my dad's passing, I reached 1,000 subs. I woke up this morning to 1,000 subs exactly a year after my dad's passing. And uh, man, that's why I say, when I say thank you, I really do mean it. I really appreciate y'all believing in me, commenting, liking, taking part in this channel. It really, really does mean a lot to me. So let's get rolling. You know, every so often you and I may receive something from someone and we know that thing we received was something that meant a lot to them. I received one of those gifts the other day. You know, the very first time I tried to make a bow, it was an epic fail. I went out in the woods and I you know, looked at a various number of trees that I could cut down and use the wood from. I was trying to follow a tutorial that I had watched on YouTube. It was one of those channels. I don't remember the name of it, but you know, this guy's basically living out in the middle of nowhere and just doing everything from scratch, just amazing primitive things. And I tried, you know, the same tricks that he was doing and uh, it was an epic fail. I later moved from that over to, you know, making a bow with PVC and I had some success there. The other night I was at a get together and I was standing in the kitchen talking to my sister and her husband, Robert, my brother-in-law. And she has been telling me for the longest time that I needed to check out Robert's dad's archery collection. Robert's dad, Bob, passed away in a farming accident about four years ago. It was a very tragic loss. And he was a just a farmer, a master craftsman, an outdoorsman, an agriculture teacher. He was just an expert in all of those fields. And, and in his downtime, he was always crafting and doing different things. You ought to see some of the work that he did. I'm gonna introduce you to just a small fraction of it in this video, but he made bows out of several different kinds of wood. He was always making long bows, various kinds, various different types of wood. He made his own arrows and all of that. So Robert takes me out to his shop where Bob used to make his bows and started letting me dig through a lot of them. And it was just a ton, a ton of bows and a lot of arrows that he had made. And, and Robert was having me test different bows. He's like, test this one out and see how it feels. And I would test one and then he'd hand me another. I didn't really know what he was doing, but right before we left the shop, he says, hey man, why don't you, why don't you take this, this bow with you? This one, this one looks like it works well for you. Why don't you, you have that? And you have to know, you know, what that meant to me because I know how much I cherish things that my dad left behind that I have, that I own. And for Robert to give me one of Bob's bows, that meant a lot to me because we have a lot in common having both, you know, lost our dads a lot earlier in life than we ever would have anticipated. Nevertheless, that black locust longbow is what I'm going to be trying out in this video and I'm pretty pumped about it. <laughs> I've got this bow leaning up against one of my slingshot targets here just so I can stand it up well. but. I want you to get a, a good look at that. That's a longbow there made out of black locust and he 
He made his own string too. Let me get close enough here for you to see that. I'm, I'm not quite sure what that material is, but he, he made his own string and there's the bow. Get another angle here so you can see it from the front there. He just made these bows all the time and I'm super humbled and thankful to own one of them. These bows have about a 45 pound pull, so looking forward to taking some shots. Really stoked to have this. Let's see how it does. Really missing my archery glove right now. Ouch. <laughs> see if I can get one bullseye. Got them all on the board, but let's see if we can get one in the middle. Close enough. All right, was able to put a few on the board and got a close enough bullseye. You know, they say close only matters in hand grenades and horseshoes, but trust me, that's like really close. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna make some adjustments with the string here. The, the draw doesn't come back far enough for me. I just need to make a couple adjustments, but, and the bow shoots beautifully and uh, it looks beautiful. I'm looking forward to doing a lot more with this. I'll probably make another video with it after I've, you know, done something with the, the string. Really thankful to have received this sacred gift uh, from my bro-in-law. I know how much this stuff means to him and it means a lot to me to be able to own it and to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.